exchangefamedia.com with me today is one of the most accomplished digital minds of indian of digital industry mr harish tibrewala ceo miram india thank you harish for joining us my pleasure uh, harish you've come out with this very interesting uh, report on martech a much awaited report because you know martech is the buzzword right now everyone is talking about so you know i i got to see the report and there were some questions i wanted to uh, ask you in detail like your report says indian marketers are still lagging behind global average figures when it comes to spending on mar martech so yeah. you know what are some of the roadblocks that you see yeah I, i think the biggest roadblock we see is that we have been kind of behind the martech curve you know compared to the us markets by, by at least a couple of years and we are seeing that curve kind of getting bridged at this point of time Uh, one one challenge is being able to implement projects very very successfully and show quick ROI, which becomes like a matter of concern for a whole bunch of marketers before they start making those investments. But over the last couple of years, you have seen lots of good cases which are beginning to show marketers ROI and putting them on the track to kind of make more martech investments. I I won't say Indian martech marketers are behind in terms of making investments. I see it more of an opportunity. You know, if you look at global numbers. Maybe twenty five percent of all marketing expense go into martech. In India, right right now we are maybe around fifteen percent. So to me, that is the kind of headroom for growth that the martech industry has, as far as India is concerned. It also says that you know fifty seven percent of companies as right now are martech explorers. And uh, what are these categories? You know, which yeah. have shown interest in market, which which sectors were the first ones to come and adopt it? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's an interesting question. You know, when we started doing these reports a few years back, it was a question of uh, do you understand Martech or do you not understand Martech? That was like the first first report that we did. And when we did the same report like a couple of years back, we started seeing people had become Martech heroes. There were people that adopted Martech. They were making a lot of investments and they were seeing value of investments. Now, when we are doing the report, we find one more cohort. This is a cohort that has taken up on Martech. They have made some investments. They are seeing value. and now they want to scale up the investments so this really is the category of explorers no by category i meant uh, which sec is it fmcg is it uh, coming from auto yeah. or yeah. Which, so we, yeah, which sectors are more interested in exploring martech yeah so the sectors we are seeing right now one is the retail sector the other is the real estate sector okay. these kind of our sectors which have been little slow to take on martech but they are beginning to see benefit of the martech investments and these are going to be driving growth in the next few years to come as well as some of the sectors which have which are still not open to you know experimenting which which you have categorized as stagnants or laggards yeah so we see cpg for example that is that is way behind the curve we see media as a sector which is way behind the curve okay. these guys have still not got on very very actively to marketing so your report also says that perhaps for the first time sales too has become one of the key objectives achieved by martech in last few years so how do you explain that yeah i i think the role of a marketer is changing from being like a pure marketer who could say that you know you out of every dollar i spend i don't know which one creates value to which one doesn't create value to actually becoming a what shall i say co seller along with the sales person to be sure you can deliver value and martech in early days was purely about building customer experience and engagement but now more and more investments are in the direction of how can i get value how can i see roi how can it actually give me an uplift on sales that is happening so the conversation is changing from purely building a brand to actually generating sales for me so you yourself mentioned you know for marketers every dollar matters so you know mar uh, one big challenge that we have heard of in last few years is that for marketers to prove the roi of your tech stack internally because it's an expensive investment yeah, yeah, how yeah. do you think they can overcome this yeah yeah so i th i think martech fits in brilliantly to be able to answer an roi question because you are able to track everything right from where the money was spent and once the money was spent what did the consumer do at an individual consumer level how much time did the person spend on my website was a lead form filled was a purchase done if a purchase was done am i able to upsell am i able to cross sell am i able to sell something else or with the help of that customer i am able to get more customers you can track this completely end to end almost to a dollar value just to give an example there's a there's a very leading global uh, shoe brand that we kind of work with and uh, we, we we set up the solution for them a few months back and in the last 3 months we have shown them almost like a 30% uplift on sales okay. simply because of a martech solution and what does the martech solution do it allows you to understand past buying behavior 
it allows you to create cohorts based on the behavior it allows you to send the right message to the right customer at the right time you just do that and you start seeing better response coming you know what we need to realize is that just like as brands are looking for customers customers are also looking for brands we just need to get the right messaging to the right person at the right time which martech enables you to do and once you do that the marriage between the brand and the customer happens what is your strategy to convert martech stagnants or laggards into explorers i think more and more of thought leadership is required more and more of conversation around roi is required they need to feel inspired by these kind of case studies where they understand that the investment they are making is a positive roi investment for them second they need to understand the investment they are making will give them results in a quick time frame i mean nobody has the patience to wait for 3 years to start seeing results you know so we need to start creating smaller minimum viable product being able to implement it quickly be able to show value and keep moving up the curve we need to get get to the concept of agile marketing you know and how soon do you think results can be noticed for 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 a whole lot of clients from the day the stack goes live we are able to actually start showing results maybe from the fourth or fifth month onwards fourth and fifth month onwards yeah okay yeah now uh, how and why has martech become even more important in a cookie less world yeah in 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 a cookie less world you don't have access to third party cookies you know basically you need to find a way to create your own data and create your own first party cookies that is where martech starts becoming important you know brands who never bothered about capturing customer data now are wondering how can we profile data how can we capture data how can we make sense of the data and how can we personalize our communication not only communication that goes on email and sms but also communication on my website you know if somebody has come to my website engaged with me done something the same person comes back can i continue the journey with that person so it becomes very important for me to be able to drop cookies on the browser of the customer and to be able to use a martech stack to be sure i can continue the conversation with the person so so my own customers my own data is becoming far more valuable and martech helps you mine the data as well as use the data so now everyone is these days talking about web3 what impact will advent of web3 have on martech yeah so so web3 basically you know uh, web3 is a very fancy word but to me it's basically the web of identity you know web web1 was more in terms of the web of information where you would give information web2 became a web of transaction where you could conduct transaction today all of us are concerned about our identity web3 actually allows you to control your own identity at a consumer level and once that happen marta becomes even more important for you to be able to speak to each customer one on one and be able to unlock the identity and be sure that you are able to deliver the right message to the right person at the right time so if if i to con- before i conclude if i have to ask you one piece of advice that you would like to give a marketer who's already into technology what will be that i think you need to continue investing in technology in in, in a big fashion you know the, the, the day has come where a good creative writing on top of a great technology actually creates the best message for a customer b we need to look at martech solution not purely from a communication perspective you know when people talk of advertising or marketing we talk of what can i do on facebook what can i do on twitter but to me it is really about identifying every single consumer touch point for that particular brand and are you able to digitize the touch point to create a great consumer experience you know for example i walk into a hotel why is the reception required at all can i not just get a digital key on my phone and directly walk up to my room now martech can enable you to do that if if i am in the hotel room and i have set the temperature to 25 degrees how can i ensure that every time i check into the hotel anywhere in the world the temperature is still 25 degrees technology allows you to retain the information in the database and i think one of the hotels has already done it absolutely this, this came so, as i have somebody cited this example a, a, absolutely so the idea is that as a marketer how can i identify every digital touch point and convert it into a great consumer experience if the experience is good that will create brand loyalty it's not the big ads alone that create brand loyalty it's actually the great experience and martech plays a huge role in providing those consumer experiences harish we wish you all the best and thank you so much for speaking to exchange for media thank you thanks nazia thanks for having me